guys, my name is Greta Perisheta, I'm life and business coach and for the best videos subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Friday. So today's topic is the joy of life is in giving but people pleasers have it worst so how does it work? Guys, it is a bit difficult for me to talk about the people pleasers as I believe I never really been one. And yes, of course, there has been many occasions where I overgave or been too nice, but um, I personally never was that person who was trying really, really hard for everyone to like them. However, I came across many people who are people pleasers and who desperately seek for others' approval. To that point that if someone doesn't like them, it really, really bothers them. Can you just imagine if you have a friend who is a people pleaser and one day you annoy them on purpose by saying that you don't like something about them, how bothered your friend will get. It will affect your friend so much that she will probably lose sleep over it. Now, can you imagine how much power over that person you will have? You can literally play them as a Muppet just as you please. One day you annoy them, next day you complain something about them, Third day, if you feel like it, maybe you're even nice to them for 10 minutes. Us, the people pleaser is always jumping at your every wish. After a while, you get so used to it that you start to feel that you're entitled to it. You start to feel like you are entitled to use this person because they treat you like your every wish is their command. And if they don't fulfill your wishes, if you're a strong person, you just stop talking to them. This affects them that much that they give in and start pleasing you again. So what happens is for a people pleaser, it's basically a vicious cycle. But here is a question. How to give and be nice without anyone taking advantage of you? So how do we get people to respect, like us, and at the same time live our ultimate life? By being selfish first in order to be selfless later. Don't get me wrong, I love generous people. I think we are literally pure diamonds. To be generous, it is definitely a very high quality to have. However, in order to be generous and please at your own convenience, you must be selfish first. You must build, create, and provide a beautiful life for you first in order to give. And not just to give, but to enjoy the giving. Guys, giving is an art. If you give because you are manipulated in giving, if you give when you don't want to, and when you have nothing, you will feel robbed. But when you already have stability, you did what you needed to do in order to achieve what you need to achieve for you first. This is when you can give and you will feel good in giving because you already gave yourself first. Also, you will feel good in giving when you give on your own terms. That is when you are in control of your own giving and you give exactly as much as you want to give freely. If you will give more because you cannot set in a boundary as you cannot say no, you will feel robbed. Giving with expectation is not giving, it's a manipulation. Therefore, give with no expectation. Give it like you give to charity without expecting anything back, but control your giving. Do it on your own terms. This is when you will feel good and others will have respect for you. 
Now guys, you know how to give without being taken advantage of and if you want to learn more about self-love and personal growth, I share it all in my ultimate self-love package. How to live your ultimate life, how to set boundaries with people, how to be the best version of yourself and achieve your wildest dreams. And my ultimate self-love package you can find in my video description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. One-on-one, -on -one, please book me for one-on-one, -on -one, please book me through my website and have a beautiful day. Kisses from London.